Hello, this is Nathan from Tech Package, and today I'm going to be showing the new features announced in ShareX 12.4. This is the ShareX downloads page that you can get from getsharex.com slash downloads and you can see that the new release ShareX 12.4.0 and that is a pre-release. I'm going to head to the change log which is getsharex.com slash change log and you can see all of these different additions and changes in the new version. One of the main changes in the Sharks 12.4 update is in the capture panel. As you can see they removed the web page capture. If you would like the same functionality you can use a region capture or a scrolling capture in your browser window. Another big change in the ShareX 12.4 update is in the tools panel where you can no longer use a FTP client. In the capture panel you can see a new option under show cursor which is a screenshot delay. You can set it from 1 to 5 seconds. I'm going to show you what happens when I set it to 3. So when I set it to 3 seconds and click any of these captures, let's say I take a full screen capture, it's going to wait 3 seconds and then take a picture. So you can see here, and here's our picture. You can customize the screenshot delay to your own liking in the task settings under the capture settings. As you can see here, you can change it by 1 second up and down or you can use a decimal. In ShareX whenever you see a color picker dialog such as this one in tools you'll see that there is a new option called standard colors. When you click standard colors it's going to give you all of the basic colors that you can use. In the region capture you may have seen in my previous tutorial that you can hold shift to proportional resize a rectangle and alt to snap it to a grid. What they added into the new ShareX update is that when you're holding down shift or alt, then you can move the upper left corner by holding control. And this also works with shift and then you press the control key and it's going to move that upper left corner. Previously in the destination settings you can see that the custom uploader settings were under the other uploaders. Now in the new update you can see that in the destination panel the custom uploader settings was moved from inside the destination settings to in the destination panel. In the task settings and under the capture section you can see that there is a new setting for OCR. In the OCR you can set your default language. You can allow it to process the OCR silently, process the OCR in dialog open, and to automatically copy the results to your clipboard. In the upload section and under file naming, you can see that there is a new option to auto increment the number. So what this will do is when you change it to let's say 1, 2, or 3, it will automatically increment this number by this amount. And then you click change. In the image history panel, you can see that there is a new option in settings. This new option is filter missing files, and if ShareX can't find the image or it's been moved or deleted, then it'll show up when you check this. The last update to this program is in the About tab. As you may have seen in my previous uh, ShareX tutorial, you may know that when you left click three times on the ShareX logo, it bounces around. Now ShareX, they added a new easter egg to the about tab is when you right click on it instead of left clicking as it bounces around like a DVD player. And here are the difference. So here's the bouncing around with the right click and when I left click it just bounces. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.